trampoline all laid out on the ground here so that way we can take a little bit of a closer look. So this trampoline is an aftermarket trampoline made by Salt City Sale. Um, this is the, the mesh material, but it's their tough wrap version. So it actually has a vinyl wrap around where the grommets are applied to help reinforce the, the high stress areas with the wrapping. Um, so this one is actually an option that they don't have on their website with the gray. Um, but I was able to talk to the guys there and they really hooked me up with the gray vinyl tough wrap. Um, as you can see, these grommets, they are a stainless steel rather than a brass grommet that you would find on uh, an original Hobie trampoline. This trampoline does have the double pockets as well as the toe toe hiking strap. Um, so I think it's going to be overall a great upgrade from the all vinyl, no pockets and toe straps that are ripped out. Um, you can also see that there's quite a few more grommets on this model of trampoline as compared to the standard Hobie trampoline. And that's just to make sure that, that load, the loads are distributed a little bit more evenly and reduce the grommet tear out. The quality is really good. You can see all of the, the different stitching. Um, this is actually the Teflon stitching, so it's guaranteed for a lifetime. So I'm really looking forward to getting this one installed and really testing it out. It should look really good with the teal lacing. All right, let's get this bad boy installed. So as you can see, there's this little lip that's open. It's significantly more open than this one. So we're just gonna do the same thing and thread this side in. And that one already is going in so much easier than the other side. So you just gotta make sure to get it in at the right point. and it'll just pop right in if it's properly sized. I think that other one may have been bent in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and just readjust everything. Back it up if we get too far. Again, as that friction starts building up, it gets a little bit more difficult. But as long as we just keep to it, should not be an issue. So let's go ahead and pull some tension. 
and feed in, feed in, work it down. Now this last area is a little bit more difficult because there's a lot more stitching. So we just really gotta make sure we really get it fed in. And then once it pops in, it pops in. So then we can do the same thing. Just work it down all right Whew, almost fell and now I'll go ahead and feed the front of the trampoline in try to reduce Catching on any corners. These trampolines hold a lot of load, but we don't want to nick them if we don't have to. So, there we go. Once it's all put up together, it'll look good. So we have our center rope here. Um, before we tension the beams, um, we're actually gonna go ahead and start working the rope through. So that way we can start closing this up and we don't have to fight the trampoline and the rope and everything. So to start off, we're gonna go ahead and Tie a bowline so that way if we ever do want to untie it we can just crack our bowline and we're good to go. I don't want the tag end on top so I'm actually going to attempt to retie it from the bottom. So getting up underneath here. And there we go, now we have our bowling and the tagline is on the bottom. So, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this line out and then we're gonna go ahead and just lace it up as we go. So we're gonna go down across and then just keep threading through, feeding line, threading through. Like tying shoelaces.
So like I said, when we were cutting the rope, um, this trampoline actually has more grommets than an OEM trampoline would have. So it's going to be interesting to see if 19 feet of line is still enough or if we're going to end up needing to redo all of this and cut some new line, which we're getting dangerously close now, which means I think we'll make it because once we come through and actually tighten everything, we'll get a good amount of more lacing. Now I'm just going to a yeah, single hitch will do. So now that this is up so now that the center portion of the trampoline is up and out of the way, we can go ahead and grab the sheeting block, the main sheet and go ahead and pull everything together. So let me go ahead and grab that and then we'll pull everything together. So I found something that will work. I have a shackle, um, and while this doesn't fit through this side, it does click through this side. So I can go ahead and use this quick release pin with this shackle. So doing so makes it look like this. It's really helpful to have extra hardware like that handy. So now, go ahead and continue feeding all the line through. So now that we got this all in place, it's nice and tight, nothing's going to come undone. We can go ahead and Bend these bars in. You can see how there's already getting a little bit of slack. We don't want to bend it too much. Just enough that this is now slack. Because if we bend it too much, we'll start to um, permanently deform it. So you can see as I let it go, it releases back. So right about there is pretty good. And don't leave it like this for extended periods of time either. If you are going to be stepping away for a little bit, just go ahead and undo it. All right, so now that we got our sheeting block in place, the center is loosely laced. We're going to go ahead and loosely lace the back. And then we'll continue with tightening everything down, starting with the sheet and then the center lacing. So we have the pre-cut sections of the side lacing. So this is the older model of boat. So it goes through the corner casting. There's a hole in the corner casting, which we'll go ahead and grab this side since it was the closest. And just kind of pinch it down. And then we'll see if we can just kind of all right, there we go. So now that we got that through, we're just gonna go ahead and tie a figure of eight knot trying to keep it close to the end. Um, so the nice thing about a figure eight, again, if you need to, you just break it in half and it'll come loose. So now that we got that done, 
we can just go ahead and pull it tight. Go ahead and move this over to the other side. So now we can begin lacing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go up through this guy, this first eyelet. And let's try and work out some of these twists. And then we're gonna go down through the first and up through the second eyelet. Go ahead and pull that tight. And now we're actually gonna go back down through that first eyelet again on the stern portion of the trampoline. For some reason, this rope really likes to twist itself up. That's okay. I only broke half the things. There's the other half. <laughs> so we'll just keep repeating the process. I'm using my other hand to hold tension while I feed through with my right hand. So 15 feet was actually a ton of extra line. So we'll probably end up having to, to trim at the end somehow. Go ahead and go back up through. and then hitch it off just lightly because we'll come back through and we'll tighten everything up. So same thing on this side. All right, so that'll be good for now. Um, we'll go ahead and tighten up the sheet and then go through and tighten up all of the center lacing line and tie it off for good right here at the back. So hopefully we get enough line that it'll fit. All right, let's go ahead and tighten our cross member. Oh, looks like it's working pretty well so far. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and tighten from the underside. Ooh. And through.
to go ahead and tie it off with a couple hitches. Man, you feel it in your fingers. My fingies. All right, let's go ahead and Tighten it off. Alright. Pretty happy so far. One more side. Let's go. All right. It's looking pretty good. I think we could still pull some tension out of the center here. But other than that, I think she's looking nice. guys that about does it nice sale new trampoline we got some big stuff going on in the future I'm actually preparing right now to start mapping out delaminations on the holes and see if we can't do some pretty major structural repairs so stay tuned for those episodes coming out soon and if you enjoyed this one or got something out of it please let me know down below if you have any recommendations for things you think I could do better, 
feel free to let me know as well. I'm still learning this whole editing process, so every little bit helps. I hope to see you guys in the next one as we start some more aggressive repairs on the Hobie. So we'll pretty much be undoing all the work we did in this episode. So thank you guys for joining again, and I'll see you around.